here we have it guys, the fleet liner, the big daddy, the most imposing and probably one of the most famous Mercs ever made, the 126 series S class. In the 80s and 90s this was in just about every action movie driven by the, uh, the big wigs. This is a 420 SEL, it is the update series, so you've got the soft leather, the electric seats and the airbag as well as the 4.2 litre V8 over the 3.8 that it replaced. It is being the SEL, the L on the end meaning long wheelbase, the long wheelbase edition. So this is a big car, although it doesn't drive like it. Look at all that leg room. If you were a big wig in the 80s and 90s, this is what you rode in. It was bar none the most superb car of that time, and it still is. Just listen to this door clunk. It's like a bank vault. You just can't buy that anymore. That engineering, everything's built to a cost these days, but this just wasn't. It's one of my own personal favorite all-time vehicles, and we love them here at the Old Timer Center. Unfortunately, it's getting very hard to find good ones like this one. So when this came up, we had to get it. Original warning triangle, original tags, if you've got the boot open a long time, you can even pull this little tab here and I'll turn the light off so you don't get a flat. Nice and dry in here, no weird smells. Original spare, original stickers. This car is never been compromised. I guess if you really wanted to nitpick it, you might want to put some fresh window tint on it but it really doesn't need anything. Acres of space back there. The wood's in great shape. It's got an auxiliary fan cut off as well, so the aircon's really, it works well. The gray leather is superb. Electric seats at the front. I'll keep walking around the car. You've got the, obviously the moonroof up there. The 300s of this series were just too underpowered. The 560s, well, they drank like fish. They were beautiful cars, if you can afford to run them. This was the perfect blend of both worlds. Hopping in, still got those wonderful coil sprung seats that you don't get anymore. Firing her up. She pops straight to life, great oil pressure, great temperature. She sounds great. Everything's working, the windows are working. No strange noises. I've got the air dialed up here as well, which is nice. Close up the sunroof. All the lights are working. It's just a nice place to sit. You've even got, obviously the, with the driver's airbag here, you've got an electric steering column that you can put in and out with this button. A little bit squeaky, probably never been used. But it's still working. And the crowning piece de resistance of this car, which I will show you now, outside in the light is its service history. I don't want to bore you but it's extensive and when finding at one of these cars it's very important to find a good set. So let's just have a look here. So where do we start? We start here. 89 which is the year of the car, and then we just go right the way through. Mercedes, 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 Mercedes. And that's really key to the longevity of these vehicles, is a good maintenance record that goes with them. I'm not going to keep flipping through all day, but I mean, you're free to have a look at this when you come in. 
if you're interested in a 126, they're going up. This is one of the very few cars appreciating at the moment. Get them while they're still affordable. It's more like an heirloom. We'd love to hear from you with the Old Timer Centre. We specialise in Mercs. If you're after this, www.old.com.au for all our videos and all our contact details. Thanks for watching. Catch you down the road. And uh, we'd love to hear from you on this W126 420 SE.